I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and this is my street, my old neighborhood. Fifth Avenue with Greenwood Cemetery on the right, the third largest cemetery in the world, and I used to walk around it as a kid on a regular basis. I knew every way to get into that cemetery through holes in the fence. And here's a clip from a film I made back in 1966 with a bunch of my friends just running alongside Greenwood Cemetery. It wasn't much of a film, but the images capture a time, a time that I remember very fondly. Well, coming up on 28th Street, that rounded corner orange building on the left was the East Coast headquarters of Smith Corona typewriters. And my mother worked there for like six or seven years. We're coming up on 25th Street and 5th Avenue, and there's a shot here from my film which shows a gas station and a bunch of my friends. You can't really see the gas station, it's off to the left. But there's always been a gas station on that corner. I wonder if they're still using the same storage tanks. Anyway, um, that's the main entrance to Greenwood Cemetery on the right. We're passing by, we're not even gonna get a glance. And we're coming up on my street, 24th Street. Now the building on the left used to be Weir Florist. And you have to have a florist because there's a cemetery right there. So you, you always have florists in close proximity. And they had an attachment. These two garage doors you see coming up on the right, we used to rent space there and store our car. And that place with the big metal gate used to be a playground. It's not a playground anymore. I don't know what the kids do for amusement around here. The Jelly Factory, that cruddy brick building on the right side marked available. We knew the guys who ran it. They were very nice to us. They gave us jelly samples. This is my street. This first house was my friend Roberts. And then I knew somebody in every one of these buildings. Some better than others. Some were nice. Some were not so nice. My mother's best friend, Ann, lived there. And this is my house. It pretty much has not changed in all the time it's stood here. It's still the same color, fresh coat of paint, the number 277, which was the actual address on the steps, has been painted over, but it doesn't change anything. I had a very simple childhood. I had some very, very good friends. We played stickball, we ran around. And here they are, the only picture I know of all of us together. Here's them, the clip of the front of my house from that same film from 1966. That's a hand-carved Thompson submachine gun I made. And that apartment building, which is also immortalized on this shot, had several of my friends living in it. Now we're heading down the street, across the street, every day of my life going to and from school. Now my father's and his father's funeral home was right there on the left. It's not a funeral home anymore, unfortunately. And this is Our Lady of Chinstahova Catholic Church. It's part of a Lady of Częstochowa School, uh, the school I attended from the first to the eighth grades, and the church I went to every Sunday and sometimes several other times during the week when church functions coincided with school functions. And if you look straight down my street, and I didn't realize this after I moved away and it just really occurred to me again, there's the Statue of Liberty. And we could see the light from the Statue of Liberty every night when I was growing up if you chose to look down that way. They've modified the street name a little bit. It was 24th Street, now it's a Lady of Częstochowa Plaza. Here's the convent where the nuns stayed. I assume there are still nuns there. And this little tiny building was the school. Grades one through eight. The classrooms can't be very big. <laughs> As I recall, I had a lot of fun going to grammar school here. The rectory where the priests for the church live is right here. And now we're going to turn on to 4th Avenue. 4th Avenue was my other main drag. 5th Avenue I used to take going one way, 4th Avenue I would take going the other way. We're coming up on 24th Street and 4th Avenue, which was my home. There's the apartment building. I knew every one of the owners of every one of these stores and they've all changed. Of course, they were 
They were different back then. It was a candy store and a grocery store. We're coming up on 23rd Street. And then we're going to hit my friend Frank Heidinger's house, which was right there. But they've changed it a bit. What are you going to do? Everything changes. Nothing stays the same. This is 4th Avenue, and the BMT N and double R trains run under this uh, very street. Uh, you can see the ventilation uh, access in the middle. We're coming up on the Brooklyn Queens Expressway. And beyond that, at the end of this street, you will see a very tall, almost skyscraper-like building, unusual for Brooklyn. This is the old Dime Savings Bank or Prudential Insurance Building. I forget which one it was. And that's the end of our tour. <laughs>